Hey, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to set up a custom domain name for your Heroku app. Here, as you can see, I have a Heroku app. It's just a regular Node.js app. It doesn't matter what kind of app you're using. And I want to use a custom domain name that I have purchased from GoDaddy. The DNS service provider doesn't matter either. This tutorial should work. I've already done this, as you can see. My name is IbrahimMalawi.com, and I purchased this, uh, not .com, my name is Ibrahim Malawi, and I've purchased this domain name from GoDaddy. And I've had a point, I've had it in a way where it points to my Heroku app. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So the app that I'm talking about has an alias of Scary Mausoleum. This was randomly generated, generated by Heroku, as you know. I'm going to go to the settings tab and I'm going to scroll down to the domain section. Here I have already certain data that you might not have, so I'm going to just delete these domains and you should see nothing here. And you're going to add a domain and this is going to be the custom domain name that you have. In my case, it's going to be www.ibrahimalawi dot com next it's going to give me this dns target and i'm going to talk about that in just a second i'm going to go back to domains i'm going to click on the add domain name button again i'm going to asterisk dot ibrahim alawi dot com press next all right now we're going to copy this DNS target from this domain name, the one without the www dot before the name. And we are going to copy that and going to go to our DNS service provider. Here I've already have, I already have it loaded up. Let me go back to show you where I was. It was on my products. You can see domains that I have associated to my account. I'm gonna go press the DNS button. Take me to this record section. And here there are different fields, diff which have different values. What I'm gonna to try to attempt to change is this canonical name field, the value of that. And canonical name pretty much stands for an alias. It points to another domain name. It points, it tells, this domain what other domain it should point to and in this case we already have a domain name that that houses our app or that points to the server so we're going to change that value to the heroku app you should have nothing here by the way you should have maybe like an at or nothing at all and i'm going to paste the DNS target that we have copied and I'm going to press save and once you refresh it's going to take time it's going to say the site can't be reached the server IP address could not be found but after a while it works this might take a couple minutes maybe even longer uh, when you first do it but that's that's pretty much all you need to do it's pretty simple now it's I, I feel like it's important to know how this works the canonical name is pretty much an alias it points to another domain name and we and Heroku calls us the DNS target so IbrahimAlawi.com points to the Heroku domain name which points to the server the IbrahimAlawi.com doesn't point to the server so if you delete the Heroku app that means you it would not this would not know what to do because it's just pointing to this app so it wouldn't get to the server so that's all you need to know about this and I hope this helped